What is up, guys? It's Super Cam from Super Cam Gaming from the channel. Please subscribe, leave a comment saying hi, thumbs up, if like the video already, share this video with your friends, and welcome to a kind of weird, a kind of instant a daily trend. I, I think I'm going to hold my current daily trend video off tomorrow and talk about this, the happenings of Dr. Disrespect tonight. I'm, I'm about to watch what Dr. Disrespect had to say, and then we'll go into my thoughts about everything and things like that. This isn't this isn't going to be a video of like attacking Dr. Disrespect or anything like that. Maybe it ends up being that I haven't watched what he had to say. I just saw some some noise p picking up on Twitter, some girls saying some things. Like I'm not I'm not going to name their names because they're they're upset that people are tweeting at them and things like that. So I'm I'm going to keep them out of this. Just focus on Dr. Disrespect and his wife. Out of costume, of course. Can't tell if the volume is up. Hey guys. Uh, <clears throat> kind of have a, a little bit of a little bit of an announcement. Um, and I just want to be completely transparent with you guys. Uh, as you guys know, I have a a beautiful family and a wife and kid and um, I want to be transparent that I've been unfaithful and it's an inter interesting word unfaithful and very uh, upset and I'm probably going to be Taking some time away, t time off, to focus on um, the world is a mess right now with relationships. I don't know what it is. I'm going through it too. Stupid fucking mistakes, man. Mistake another <sighs> another interesting word. I'm gonna take time off to focus on my family and and so I just wanted to let you guys know that. And I apologize to you guys and Slick Daddy, you guys are, I apologize to you guys, my sponsors and Twitch, and this is not, this is not who I am, it's, it's not what I represent, and <clears throat> All right. that's it. A little con conflicted with that last bit. It's n not who I am. Let me, I'm just... Replay that one more time for myself. Yeah, this is not this is not who I am. It's, it's, it's not, not what I, I represent. It's not what I represent. <clears throat> that's it. All right, some inter interesting things. Now, I'm I'm a true believer that we are not our mistakes. And he he used the word unfaithful. He didn't really say what he meant by unfaithful. So that could mean. A number of things it could be emotionally unfaithful where he was maybe in the dms or texting somebody else it could be an emotional unfaithfulness and he got fi found out either some other girl text texted or messaged his wife letting her know or maybe she messaged or text the girl because her, because her gut was telling her to do it i've been, i've been there too if it's an emotional unfaithfulness i really hope that they can work things out that they can talk through it that he's willing to become a better person because we we get again to the word mistake i i don't count cheating being unfaithful as a mistake it's a garbage action all right it's it's not a mistake you know at some level that what you're doing isn't right when you have someone that loves you even if you might not love them not saying that dr disrespect doesn't love his wife but even if you don't love them knowing that you have someone that loves you on the side and if they knew about this it would hurt them you have to at some level know that unless you're a sociopath you have something wrong in your head and you just don't care you, you don't care if them finding out hurts them because all you care about is you 
and your happiness and the people around you, their happiness doesn't matter as long as you're happy. Then, then you have to kind of reflect on yourself and you need to fix yourself. For that reason, I don't think mistake is the right word. But of course, what, what better, better word is there? And back to the it's not who I am. We, we don't know how long this thing has been going on. If it's been going on for a long time, then it it, bas- it it is who you are and you need to you need to accept that that is a part of you and then you need to take that part and you need to focus on that part and work on that part and become a better partner for your wife if she chooses to forgive you. I believe there's always opportunity for forgiveness. I'm I'm definitely a fighter myself. I'm definitely a worker. I I try I try to work on everything and anything to a fault of course i i always want to fix things i i it's it's so hard for me to accept because because i have such great control of my mind and my actions and i know how self-aware i am that i'm able to fix myself when there is something i need to fix for my partner that maybe maybe that thing might have not bothered somebody else from my past but it bothers them so i have to work on it and I, I didn't know it was a problem, but I know it's a problem now. At least for them, it's a problem. And I have to sit back and figure out how I'm going to work on that and be a good partner for my lady, of course. But if it was like physical unfaithfulness, again, definitely not a mistake. That's something you definitely know will hurt someone. Emotional is a little, a little more tricky than physical. But physical is pretty black and white. Like, that's a no. Done. For me, at least. Like, I I would have to, like, really, really love someone to forgive them for physical unfaithfulness. I've never done that before. I've never forgiven someone in that situation. So I don't don't know if I can say that I would even do that because I've never been faced with that. It's a tough situation. I feel like they they both need some sort of mental support and they they definitely need to communicate i hope that his wife doesn't put up a wall and become cold and distant in this moment even though it's easy to do that because you you want the person to hurt you to like le- learn some sort of lesson like you hurt me now now you need to hurt because depression is a very scary thing and that's not something you want to put on someone you love or even don't love just don't don't try to hurt people emotionally even though you're hurt you gotta like talk things out see if things are fixable and if there's a willingness to change and then go forward from there don't don't try to teach people lessons like like, let go of your ego. We don't know all the details of the situation. Only you two know the details. Dr. Disrespect probably knowing more details. But I understand him apologizing to his fans and to his sponsors. Because he, he does... He he is a role model to the little kids. I see him giving little high fives and doing videos and things like that. His character. But you, you as, as an entertainer, you have to be able to separate your character and yourself it's okay if you have this nice awesome or sweet character on the internet but when the video go, goes off you're this awful person not saying dr disrespect is an awful person but those people definitely exist where on twitch they're ni- they're nice to their audience or on twitter they're nice and sweet but but away from but away from twitch and away from twitter they're just they're uh, they're a garbage person those people definitely exist and i i feel like maybe maybe there's a hint of that by him saying this isn't who i am i feel like that was maybe a defense this is this is my my psychology brain kicking in that this actually is who he is and it's okay to it's okay to be who you are but only if you're willing to accept that it's not okay to be that and to want to change that but thank you guys so much for watching. That's my thoughts on this whole situation. Maybe more details will come out. These Twitter ladies, one of them in a, in a certain in a certain circle of people.
I'll just I'll just stop that there. A certain cer- a certain circle of people that I got myself pulled into in the last couple of months, and it's it's a it's a very it's a very creepy circle of people. I'm just gonna put it that way. I I don't I don't want to go deep into what I mean, but all that. But thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe for new the channel. Thumbs up. If you like the video. Share this video with your friends, and of course, stay beautiful. If you like this video, please consider supporting me on Patreon so that I can continue to bring you reviews for all the newest games at patreon.com slash superkengaming. You'll get access to early audio and video versions of reviews, exclusive Let's Play videos, and you'll even get to choose the game I play next. Thanks for watching, and of course, stay beautiful.